Hi, Floppy Catters. I know it's been a hot minute since we've done a vlog type video in the backyard, so I thought we'd do it today. But what's today's date? July 18th. Step number one today is going to put, I'm gonna put this on them. This is by the Feline Essential brand, which is actually made by the two crazy cat ladies. I'll include a link to it. I have stopped giving them Revolution Flea Control because Charlie had that head trimmer that you guys were aware of last year. And I'll talk about that more in a minute. But right now I'm gonna get this sprayed on him and him and then we're gonna go outside. I don't let them smell the top where it comes out, but I lift them up and then I just spray and then I spray in their butt and a little bit under the armpits. I know, I'm sorry, that was rude, okay. And I'll explain why I'm using this product too in a minute. It's really hot here. It's really not that hot right now. My backyard is very cool. I go for walks every day and when I get to my backyard, I'm like, geez Louise, this monster keeps it super cool back here. Hi. Do you want to tell everybody what's been going on with you? you want to tell everybody? Tell everybody? <laughs> so Charlie and Trig have been going through a detox protocol that Pam of Perfectly Holistic has put together for us. You guys have heard bits and pieces of our journey and this is the most success that we've had thus far. Pam operates a website called Perfectly Holistic and she offers a number of services on her website. And this one that we bought because of another Floppy Cats reader, So, who is now a friend of mine. She told me about it. She did it with her cat, Ellie, and really had great success with it and continues to have great success with it. So she said, you know, try out Pam and see how it goes. Cause I had tried three or four people before Pam. We'd gone to multiple chiropractors. Still need to go to chiropractors because that's not something Pam can fix from afar. But what I chose from her website was optimal cat health ana analysis. And so she muscle tests what products Charlie needs, what deficiencies he has, and you know, what foods he needs to be on, what proteins he needs to avoid. This is really getting down and dirty into your, your cat. It's really reasonably priced for what she does. And if you've been struggling with an ailment with your cat for a long time, like me, I can't tell you the amount of anxiety that I had going into this summer. I'm trying to see what this is. What is that? What was that? <laughs> That gave me an opportunity to shut the door as well. We'll go and say hi to you. I can't tell you the amount of anxiety I had going into this allergy season because of the hell that was last year's allergy season. I didn't want to experience that again. Chicky might want to be running away from me because of getting sprayed with that stuff. But maybe not. Tiggy, you're going to get mitten by mosquitoes under day years. Tiggy. 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 Hey, thank you. <laughs> so I reached out to Pam in late May because Charlie was still having head tremors. And, you know, the more and more that you read holistically, like it's flea control, the, the regular flea controls are horrific for cats and dogs. And here I had a, a cat with a neurological issue and I kept giving him more of these toxins. And But I also knew that he had a flea allergy or I thought he had a flea allergy because our old vet said that he did. And the itching would subside when I gave him the flea allergy. So it made, you know, sense to me. However, our new vet would be like, Jenny, if it's a flea allergy, putting the medication on shouldn't immediately make the itching subside. Anyway, I don't know why that always helped the itching subside, but it did. That spot over there where Chicky was, it's mosquito heaven, so I had to leave. 
I almost feel like I should probably spray that stuff on their ears or around their head or something. All right, this is why I went to get it because it repels fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, ants, roaches. And the reason I wanted to spray their head, what I did was I covered their eyes with my hand and then I just did one spray over their head because the only place my cats ever get bitten by mosquitoes is their ears because their ears are where their hair is the thinnest you know otherwise their their hair is too long to be able to access um, their skin to get a mosquito bite i actually sprayed it on myself too i have seen such an improvement in charlie it's been amazing and you might you know want to ask me well what did you do like what did you start what did you change i can i can certainly list that and include it but the cool thing about Pam is that it varies by cat and it varies. So what Charlie is on and what Trigger is on, I think they have four things, four supplements that are the same between the two of them. But Chiggy has five right now. We just increased it to one. Chiggy's taking colostrum, bovine colostrum, because he has, he's going through a candida detox, which is, you know, you have the die off sy symptoms. So he's on milk thistle to help his liver through the detox and help him be less licky because you know the die off creates an itch and so then you start licking. And then Charlie is on, well they're both on heavy metal detox from vaccines and from the flea meds, but Charlie's on it a bit longer than Trig is. And then Charlie also has leaky gut problems. So he's on probiotics. So he's on that feline gut soothe that he was on last summer that he did so well on but he's also on healthy gut which is a digestive enzyme he can't be on colostrum for some reason you can't do colostrum and probiotics together or like it it renders inefficient or ineffective i don't know what it is these are things pam knows that i don't know but you should, you could definitely learn a lot by following her even if you don't have a reason to start working with her, I hope you don't, because that means your cats are doing okay. You can still learn a whole heap of a lot by what, listening to her webinars and stuff. Look at this guy. He's like, why did you put that in my ear? Tiggy, are mosquitoes still flying around your ears? Tiggy, hey, man. It's like Mosquito General back here. Is that right? Oh, Tiggy. So the cool thing is, is that when we started with Pam, she detected arthritis in Chiggy. He's scared he's gonna get, he's behaving like he's gonna get sprayed again. She detected arthritis in him. And if you guys saw that wisdom panel, you saw that Trig is prone to arthritis. And like, look how good his coat looks. I mean, does he look 13? No. He's like, cause I'm taking the colostrum people and it's making me feel better. Trig used to have really waxy, greasy, yeasty smelling ears, gone from the colostrum. Pam said bovine colostrum is like the number one way to get rid of candida. But of, of course, eliminating the, the cause, which is dry food and carbs and anything else. So no more ice cream for Chiggy, no more icing for Chiggy, because he says that kitties aren't supposed to have those things, even though I really, really like it, the yums. And I still ask her for some when she has some. I feel like this video is all over the place, but that's kind of how we are with our outdoor vlogs. It's been a rough sailing. Oh, so what I was going to say with his arthritis is that we just did a recheck, which she suggests like after a certain amount of time, because I know you're scared of me right now, but it's okay. Because, you know, as their body heals and gets better, then the supplements they're on are going to change. And the second time that she, or when she did the recheck, she wasn't getting arthritis at all. She was getting that the inflammation was down in his body and so he wasn't having as much arthritis. And then she was able to tell us like how often we should be doing ozone, how often he should be doing acupuncture for his body. Not just like a general cat protocol, like for trig specific body where it is right now, what he needs, which is super cool. So I have really, really appreciated her 
awesome. I mean, I've gone through hell and Pam has seen the worst of me because when you're going through detox with your cats and they're doing funky things that you're not used to, it can be rough sailing for a while. Now that we're through the thick of it, it's so much better. Charlie's eyes were changing like on a daily basis, like the hue of blue and whether or not he was present in those eyes. You know, like almost was like, are you checking out here, buddy? Or are you gonna stay around for a while? That really changed as well. So it's been a really interesting journey with that. Charlie's lost a lot of weight, as you can probably tell. He used to be 12 pounds, 13 pounds, but he lost a bunch of his weight last year. He's now 10.5 pounds. I think 10.6, we weighed in at 10.6 yesterday. Did you weigh in at 10.6, you dead? He is, you know, on team mosquitoes. Whoa, why we got so many mosquitoes? This is from his morning syringe. I need to get that off of there. I'm starting, he's very bony and very, I mean, this is all the deterioration from how toxic his body was. And the toxicity in his body is partially my fault, you know, for not being a, a better, well-versed cat owner. And, you know, some cats can take the flea control and some can take the rabies shots over and over again, and some can't. And lucky for us, I switched to a veterinarian who doesn't require vaccines. Man, you, have you gotten bitten? No, those are old. Okay, good. So our veterinarian now will not vaccinate Charlie anymore because of medical reasons, which is great. And that's what you want. You want someone who will tighter. You want someone who will support the cat. I cannot get over how many mosquitoes are around. Whoa, look at all those ketos. There's like a thousand. Anyway, I'm very, very hopeful. I plan on doing a full video about it that's not as scatterbrained as this one to really show what happened for Charlie, what we went through, our protocol, all that kind of stuff. I just don't want anyone to copy the protocol because it was a protocol specifically created for Charlie and Pam can help create a protocol specifically for your cat. But all of his feline hypersthesia syndrome symptoms have gone away because the inflammation and toxicity in his body is being reduced over and over again. The detox process with Pam so far has been a two phase process. The first phase, and she tries to make it as gentle as possible because you know, detoxing is never fun for anybody. We've had lots of vomit. We've had drinking of water. We've had lots of pee. All these things that have been happening that would normally cause alarm for me, they don't cause alarm because I know that's part of the detox process, but I'm still asking Pam on a regular basis. We actually just had two vomits this morning, took pictures of the vomits and sent it to Pam, see if she had any ideas. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens some, and she talks about how smart cats' bodies are and they know what they need and they'll get rid of it. It's been a huge learning process for me, that's for sure. Charlie's no longer on steroids. If you recall, I talked about having him on steroids for a little bit. He's no longer on steroids. He's not on any of his allergy medications. You know, he was on Zyrtec and Benadryl and all of that crap last year. He's not on any of it. Flea control, you know, we're doing that Feline Essentials Flea X. And, well, why do you want to go back and just get eaten by Makitos? Woo. He does need to go to the chiropractor. I don't know if you can tell, he's kind of walking a little funky. We're a little late on that. And, that, and that's partially from all of the syringing that I do. I try not to mess up his neck, but sometimes I think I do. The Chiggy holds his, his mouth open in a different way than Charlie does, and I can't get Charlie to do it. So that's why Chiggy doesn't have chiropractic problems. But Charlie, Charlie's chiropractic problems started before me ever syringing him. Maybe from pilling. But I honestly think it was from jumping down from the highest level of the cat tower. That's what caused it all initially. As we improve his diet, so I'm also working my way slowly. Charlie's gotten off of dry food. The transition to get him off of dry food was so easy with Pam. 
Like I didn't believe that it would be, but it was super easy with Pam. And he's now on wet only, and we're gonna try to start doing raw here pretty soon. We might, might start with smalls, which is it's kind of an in-between. It's cooked food, but it has less crap in it than canned food, and then try raw. And I was like, Pam, do you really think that there's hope? They're 13 years old. Charlie will be 13 this week, and Chiggy will be 13 in August. And she's like, yeah, I do. I think that there's hope. I think that you, you can do it. And Pam also talks about a lot about how it's the cat owner themselves that create these energy blockages that like Charlie and Trig might be totally game for eating raw food, but the way that I've presented it and with the doubt that I've presented it might have caused them not to want to try it. So you learn a little bit about yourself in the process as well. So guys, that's the latest and greatest update from us in the backyard. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. A review is posting tomorrow, so this won't post until next week. Woo, did you get bitten on your tail? Missy, whoa. You want to go get sardines? Oh, we get sardines when we go inside now, too, because Chiggy has to avoid. They both are avoiding chicken for four months, and Chiggy has to avoid turkey right now for 10 days. So we can't have any cheats, and we're avoiding fish, except for we're avoiding large fish. We're not avoiding small fish like sardines.